Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. So, Zombies in Spaceland, as it is right now, doesn't have the most complex or deep of storylines. This is definitely not as deep as a Treyarch zombie storyline would be, um, but regardless, there are definitely some interesting things that we need to talk about, and particularly, this episode's gonna be mostly about Willard Wyler. Now, really, as a whole, we don't know a whole lot about Willard Wyler. We don't really know where his backstory is or where he came from, but all we really know is that he's been working on the horror genre and movies for over 40 years, and he's made, you know, some of the most excruciating and just horrible, um, like, you know, murder scenes or like just gore scenes or whatever in horror films he's been one of the most renowned people to ever create those and uh, the reason why his authenticity is up there is because he actually uses you know real actors and real scenarios for his scenes it's like the actors like actually die during his events we know that he's probably responsible for the death of a lot of people during these films now if you actually something was really interesting if you go into the afterlife arcade and you actually look at the back of the room here you can see a bunch of different posters for movies that he's worked on either they're already completed or he's you know planning to work on them or whatever they're most likely already completed and what's likely the you know kind of like the likely option here is that all of these different posters that you're seeing right now are probably most likely ran by a different crew every single time right this crew four that we're playing right now in zombies in spaceland is no unique crew this just happens to be the one that we play as but there's been so many different crews of four maybe crews of five or whatever just like this playing in these different films who ended up dying as well we're not able to escape this is something that Will Wilder makes very clear from the beginning that his actors really don't escape alive and then that he, you know, when as you're playing the map, Will Wilder always tells you to get back on set so just you can die. Like, that's all you're there for is to die for his film, right? He's recording this the whole time. He's waiting for you to die so he can put this in the movie so it can be completely authentic and your job is obviously in zombies to survive as long as possible. Now, it is likely that every single crew that previously beforehand, besides this special crew right here, has died before this. Now, this may be the one to break out. We don't know how the storyline is going to play, but we think that maybe this crew has the possibility to break out of uh, World Wire's productions. However, if this is not the case and our crew is not meant to escape the World Wire production, then it's probably most likely that for every DLC, we're going to be playing as a different set of four, which would, uh, which would definitely be interesting to the storyline regardless. But what happens to all these other people in these other productions that die and don't end up making it out of this film? You know what I'm saying? So what actually happens to these people? We can actually kind of get some insight to that and get a little bit of an answer from a cipher that was just recently solved. And this gives us some backstory into Willard Wyler and where he actually is and what he actually is. This cipher comes from the ritual table that Willard Wyler slices his hand over to put the blood on and this is from the writing around it and uh, when we actually solve this cipher this reads as follows, equally Mephistopheles. Very, very short cipher, you know, it's straight into the point, only two words, but this actually holds a lot of meaning because I'm actually not really sure if I'm even pronouncing this name right, Mephistopheles. And really all you need to know about this is that he appears in German folklore as basically kind of like the devil's right hand man. He's not technically the devil himself. What he does is collect souls for the devil, right, to bring down to hell. That's what exactly what he does, is collect souls of people who are destined to go there. So when you add in the fact of the other part of the cipher that says equally Mephistopheles, this is probably most likely meaning that Willard Wyler is literally Mephistopheles, just, you know, the real actual version of what's not in folklore. This is like, he has all the abilities that Mephistopheles would have. He's not technically human. Willard Wyler, I don't think is a human. He's probably a servant of the devil himself. That's what's most likely being said here by the cipher, which is really, really interesting because we didn't really think that Willard Wyler was, I guess, a higher figure or a higher power until now. It's like, I oh, we always kind of I thought World Wire was just like a really weird guy that would just, you know, make these absolutely insane horror films with actual people, but we didn't really know if he was like above human power or if he was supernatural or anything like that, but now we are finding out that he indeed is. So if he is Mephistopheles, then this must mean that there, he must be serving under the devil, and maybe if we get past Willard Wyler, we could actually confront the devil himself. I don't know about all that, but I think this is just some interesting things to think about. Like I said, the storyline is rather new, so we don't really know what's going on yet, but I'm going to keep making videos like this. If you guys do enjoy enjoy this kind of stuff, but we can pretty much say with certainty and safety that Willard Wyler is in fact Mephistopheles, and uh, that this means that probably all the actors in his previous films, he takes their souls after they die down to the devil, and he's probably the right hand man to the devil as well, so anyway guys, that is pretty much all I've got for you guys today, let me know what you think of the cipher, and also let me know what you think of Willard Wyler, because th this is actually really, really cool, I enjoy the way that Infinity Ward is doing the storyline, and uh, they're definitely actually putting some work and some time into it, which is, I was expecting them kind of not to, um, but anyway guys it's actually some really interesting stuff and i'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on the story because i can definitely see myself getting into this and i hope you guys do get into this as well so let me know what you guys think of the storyline so far let me know what you think of willard wilder hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did enjoy this don't forget to leave a like guys we're gonna be going for 115 likes here on the video of course and uh, also if you guys are new to the channel if you aren't already make sure to subscribe for more stuff like this if you guys did enjoy this kind of stuff so anyway guys thank you everybody so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video